Adoption. For all parties involved, an incredibly emotional process. For the parents who choose to give up the children, for the parents who welcome that new child into their lives, and of course for the children themselves. But balancing the desires of all involved under the law, that can be challenging as well. Now Thursday, the New Jersey State Assembly voted to become the 10th state to give adoptees access to birth records for the first time since they were sealed in 1940. The bill passed by a 57 to 18 vote, and Governor Christie, he is expected to sign it on Tuesday. Now, some birth parents would have till the uh, end of 2016 to request that their names be removed from the information given to adopted children. So there's a bit of a grandfather clause, but come 2016, there is no such condition. Um, and you can understand, obviously, just curiosity of the child. Um, what about medical histories, a bone marrow transplant, all those practical reasons, but there are questions about whether that that would include enough information to help the children find those birth parents, even if the parents don't want to be found. Now, in a statement, the New Jersey Coalition for Adoption Reform and Education said, quote, we are already hearing from adopted people who are so happy to know that they'll be able to hold a copy of their own birth certificate in their hands in early 2017. Um, I guess it's as simple as asking everybody at the table, I'll start with you, Andrew, on this, if you were in the assembly, um, how would you vote? I don't think there's a right or a wrong one on this. I understand both sides of the argument, but if you had to decide one way or the other, how would you go? I, I think, I, I, for me, it would hinge on the protection for the adopt for the parents who gave up the, the the children, because there are there are so many reasons for wanting to give up a child to adoption, and most of them are incredibly difficult and incredibly painful. And if those parents want to be able to remain anonymous there needs to be enough protections to help them stay that way. Otherwise, you might cut off the number of people, or you might actually drop the number of people who are willing to make that difficult decision going forward, and I don't think that's in anybody's best interest. So if those protections were up to the level where I thought it would be enough, then I would support the bill. Otherwise, I think I'd probably vote against it, uh, protecting their rights and protecting the system, as it, were, as it were. I couldn't disagree more with what Andrew just said. And maybe it's because um, I, I've spent years talking to foster children. And when you talk to them, foster children, adopted children, whatever the case may be, it's almost like they don't feel like they're whole because they don't know who their parents are. And that's an awful feeling. So I feel in terms of conscience, there's only one way you can vote on this issue. Let me play Give advocate, them the though. information. Let me play devil's advocate with you, Dominic. Um, uh, scenario, a young mother, um, single, um, father leaves the picture, and she's torn between terminating the pregnancy because she knows she can't support the child in the way that at least she believes is the right way, or taking the child to term uh, knowing that she's going to have to, at the end of the term, make a decision that she chooses to give the child up with all the loss that that's entailed with it, with all the shame that might come along with it and everything else. And a courageous decision, I think, for someone who's at least self-aware enough to know they can't do it to give the child up for adoption. But if she thinks that at the end of the day, 20 years later, the kid's going to track her down and say, why'd you give me up? And she doesn't want to have that conversation in some ways, it could make a decision, if someone's torn on it, easier to decide they don't want to bring the child to term. Richard, I'm sorry. I, I cannot relate to that. I really can't. So in other words, what, you, what you're really saying is make the child and then have no responsibility and just walk away from the situation so that the child has life. What I'm saying is I side totally on the side of children. I have talked to children in one-on-one -on -one situations where they're crying like babies and almost adults about to age out of a system where once they hit 18, there's no more support, no more help, and there's no, no parents in their life. They are thrust out there on their own. And what they often say is, I just want to know who my mother was or who my father was. What do you think, Senator? Well, I, I think the two other points were missing. One, I'm a sponsor of a bill in New York that does a similar thing, maybe not identical. It's really for adult uh, children that were adopted. So I think we ought to just step back. If, if a person is thinking of whether to uh, terminate a pregnancy and or to go to adoption based on this, 20, 18 years later, that person is likely to feel different. In fact, I think there's a number of these women who gave up children, and I know one, she worked for me, who absolutely wanted to know 
what happened. But let me, let me make it harder, though. Let's say they didn't want to know, and let's say they d built a whole new life, okay? The bills don't, are not designed to make it easy for the adoptive child to find the natural parent. The primary function of the bills is to ensure for medical purposes that they know their history whether it's they get pregnant and they need to know genetically diseases in their family. There's all kinds of medical things that we know from having parents that are absolutely relevant. And without this information, we are denying that. So that is a very important factor that we're just sort of leaving out of the conversation. And I think it's, it's critical to this. Do you think it's more practical, however, that we should assume with the advent of search engines and the ability to find information from just a sliver uh, of, of detail that if people want to be able to find those birth parents, once they have more of the information attached to the birth certificate, et cetera, that they'll be able to? It, it could be, and some of them can find them now, obviously, you know, if, you, if you're persistent enough. But the, I think the bills are designed to have protections to the extent it's appropriate. It may not be a perfect balance, but the number one thing, and, and I agree here, the child's health and the child's mental health. And I think we build it enough to those natural mothers who don't, it's, we're talking mothers here, who don't really want to have the child come 18 years later, there's some protections built in, but they're not going to be foolproof, and they're not foolproof now. Richard, you are correct with your point. To, if you have a name, in this day and age with Google, you can find the person yep. in five minutes. But you can't find the birth certificate. Interesting case. Um, and do you think in New York, um, assuming, I know it's nothing's identical, but if it's very similar, do you think it'll also pass? I don't, I'm not confident it'll move this year, but there's a tremendous movement of the adoptee community yeah. and the foster child community to have access for both mental and physical health reasons. And I think there's a lot of people who feel like the time has come. And New Jersey, to their credit, they're a step ahead of mm. us. Uh, very interesting. We're going to follow this. Obviously, next week, the governor, as we said, expected to sign this in New Jersey on Tuesday. And uh, as you heard from the assemblywoman, uh, its day will come one uh, time, probably sooner than later, in Albany as well. Okay. When we come back here, some news on the NBA front. I'm not talking about the playoffs. Of course, the story that seemed to dominate the postseason was that of the L.A. Clippers and this man, its owner, Donald Sterling. Well, news coming down here, surprising many. He now apparently is willing to sell. He um, basically putting it in the hands of his wife. The negotiations, we'll have the details on that after this.